five nuts, so out for the gusto. Meaning I get much though. I don't give a fuck, yo. Certified nuts, so out for the gusto. I don't give a fuck, yo. Certified nuts, so out for the gusto. What's up, boys? I'm back. To not waste your time, let's get down to business. First technique slip, uppercut, and hook. Look at Josh Kelly. He was already anticipating for the straight, then slips to the right, then counter with a power right uppercut, following up with a hook. This tricky counter caught Byron off guard, or pretty much anyone. When the opponent throws a straight, he is really open. You can either hook to the body or hit him with an uppercut straight from hell. Let's take a look in slow motion and I'll show you other clips where he used this technique. It's not a coincidence that Josh Kelly did that naturally. It always stems from your workout and training. Make it a habit. Do it all the time until it becomes a muscle memory that when the right time comes, it will just flow naturally without even thinking. Like brushing your teeth in the morning. To supplement that, here's a clip of his mid training. Second technique, slip and counter hook. This is simply basic and very accurate. Sometimes we forget that this is very essential. Always remember, when the opponent throws a punch, the hand leaves the face. So there is always an opening. Counter attack right away. So he won't be able to set up his punches and let him learn his lesson for touching you. Josh Kelly does this every time even during the first round. He doesn't take any chances. While the enemy is still adjusting their jabs, he counters them immediately with power punches to give them the feel that don't play with me bro. To be honest, this is not easy. You just have 0.5 seconds or less time to counter back. But when you master reading the opponent's movement and train your reflexes, you really have less chances of getting hit and more opportunity for countering with clean shots. Even in this scene, when he got hit with a jab straight combo, he still fights back instantly throwing the same punches. I've never seen him go into full defensive mode and not attacking. He either slips all the punches counter-attacks or just evading them when he's tired. That's why nobody dominated him during his professional career. Third technique, master your footwork. Footwork is the foundation of a great boxer like Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, Manny Pacquiao, Sugar Ray, Everything depends on your footwork. The power of your punch depends on it. Great defense and offense comes from your footwork. Having a great footwork can give you a lot of advantages. You can dance around, have unpredictable moves and unforeseeable punches, easily evade shots. You can have the perfect stance where you can hit him but he can't hit you. You will have to master your footwork so it will flow naturally during your game and you can be like water, my friend. Here are some techniques from Josh Kelly's footwork. For this example, he throws two fake punches to make Byron cover his face. 
then moves quickly to the left. Look at how close Kelly is to Byron with eyes wide open. Byron could have hit him, but it's too close. It won't have that much power. And Byron was still surprised and still out of position. Look at his legs. It's very bad. While he full guarded his front face, Kelly already saw an opening and throws a clean tower hook. On this clip, he did the same. Fake punch, move closely to Vina. While Vina full guarded his face, he was blindsided. Unaware of Kelly's next move, he just looked down, which is a big no for boxing. And Kelly, of course, taking the opportunity, hits him with a power hook. Boom! Looks so painful that Vina loses his balance. For the last clip, he did the same. Fake, so Barnes will cover his face, move closer, and hit with a clean power hook to the body. Fourth technique, body hook and hook. When the fight is in close range, he uses body hook and hook. During close fights, the opponents normally cover their front face to avoid getting hit. So the side obliques are usually open. Josh Kelly moves closer to them to throw a body hook. After feeling that hook, the opponent often bends a little forward because of the pain and to include their obliques for protection. So right now, the face is much more closer to Kelly, then boom, follow up to the hook. He usually goes very close to the opponent, so the hands would be deprived for power punches. Even if the opponent throws a hook, it would just go behind his head. Excellent boxing for Josh Kelly. Fifth technique, head movement. Josh Kelly's hands down style defense is a little bit dangerous and also tricky. But there's a reason why he doesn't use his hands to cover his face. First, it's faster to move the head because there's no extra weight attached to it. Second, he usually baits his head to invite punches then counters them. Third, he can see everything. One slight move from his adversary, he moves his head right away. Here is a perfect example where he used everything. Slip, then uppercut, then he th throws a hook, and when the opponent covers his face, he throws a buddy hook and hook. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it. I hope you learn. And always remember to believe in yourself. Please subscribe, like, and comment your suggestion for my next video. See you.